Gregory is a very philosophical and thoughtful individual when it comes to life, but especially when it comes to art. He will dig a grave for you. Gregory will dig a grave for you. And now you can't say that about a lot of people. He's a multi-hyphenate, right? Like the guy can do a lot of things. But the question we're here to answer is, is he right for this one? And we're gonna find out. Another black dude from behind these bars in the palm trees. I'm making paper for the regime. I'm running to the bag with him high knees. Yes, please. Me and my bandmate came to him with concepts for some music videos. It was really apparent early on that he was interested in drawing from more than just one medium or more than one space to sort of create a narrative for Jonathan Lynx that wasn't necessarily contrived or something that we didn't feel personally connected with. Gregory took the reins in a lot of aspects in terms of production, directorship, and Storyboarding, cool thing about being on set with Gregory is that he's very, very collaborative and open to um, input. And so he comes in with a very strong vision that is meant to be built upon. He will always be someone who is connecting people and drawing from different source materials and connecting stories in a way that I think is very, very special. I worked with Gregory Bordelon on a small indie movie for the first time um, at the tail end of 2019. After the movie wrapped, he was the one that took on our like BTS footage. Foot for someone to not have been there so intimately when footage is being shot, but to then ingest that footage and be able to edit it with such like heart, he just gets it. He just like. He gets the, the the emotion between like not only like documentary style, but also like people, like what people are trying to say. And sometimes people mess up and they don't really say what they mean, but they're trying to. And if they couldn't succinctly say what they needed to say within whatever sound bite it was, like Gregory, they trusted Gregory to do like that essence and not misrepresent them. And that's pretty gnarly and rare, I think. I'm an animation major at the School of Visual Arts. So lately he has been doing these uh, Instagram videos based around the pandemic, the like old dance videos that are kind of stupid and honestly TikTok-y. but I really like them. They have a different kind of artistic view. He's really politically active and is increasingly putting that into his work. And I really admire that. Just so you know, I was a cinematographer on most of those dance videos, like 90% of them. How do you feel about it? I feel good. Yeah, I feel really good. How do you feel about it? I, I feel good, I say. I better say. <laughs> I feel really good, yeah. Okay, so how do you feel about it? I feel really good.